But, um, Natalie, I, I'm, I'm sympathetic to what you have to say. I've got three kids. Mm -hmm. I work from home. My mother-in-law comes up a couple oh, of days a you've week. You've convinced me. That's it. Right, that's fine. <laughs> say no more. So, Anna Mae, what, what is the problem? I'd be out that door. I would be sitting in there sipping. But what do you do? You spend much money when you're there. I probably spend between about an average of five and ten pounds a day. I'd say. Which um, probably covers the cost of Wi-Fi. Yeah. It's cheap, isn't it? These days. I mean, these coffee shops are set up. They're designed to attract people like me. You've got PowerPoints. You've got unlimited Wi-Fi. Yeah. You've got tables set up with a plug socket right underneath. Yes. If they don't want to attract people like me, it's not that difficult. Do you ever well, meet and talk I think to you're anybody Lloyd else, do you, when you're there? All is the time. Social, social, social really good for networking. Yeah. You wouldn't believe the people I've met. And also the things that you see and hear. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you. you disagree. She's loiter loitering without intent to spend <laughs> enough money. It's, it's just, it's thieving, really, basically. Thieving? Yes, from the cafe. Because <laughs> if you think about it, if you went to your bank manager and said, look, I've got a great business plan, I'm going to pay business yeah. rates, I'm going to buy a premises, I'm going to yeah. staff it, I'm going to equip it, and then I'm going to have customers in who spend, I mean, you actually, your spend's not too bad, but the majority of them might spend £2 and sit there for four hours. And they monopolise the best seats as and well. And the problem, I suppose, for especially independent cafe yeah. owners is that the reputation, local reputation, rapport with the customers is everything. The entire business is built on well, it is being friendly. But turnover is everything. Well, yeah, but also what I mean is, even if they're getting cross with somebody sitting there for four hours, they're thinking, well, if I tell him to hoof it, he's going to go and tell them, oh, don't go down there. Yeah. Really rude. They but kick if you go me down the road the and, and go into a car park, you pay to park your car for two hours. So if you pay, I think you should pay to park your bottom for two hours as well. More than just two pounds in a coffee shop. You see, though, I, I, when I'm doing my stuff and I just think, oh, I'm just going to get out of the house for a bit, I will only go into places where they've got free Wi Fi. I have to I go in, that's the yeah, first that's thing I ask, though. have you got free Wi Fi? Yeah. If, the, if these coffee shops didn't want to attract these sorts yes. of people, it's quite simple. You put a limit on the Wi-Fi. You have unlimited Wi-Fi for 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, I mean, these coffee shops are investing money. They've got yeah. tables, they've got power Yeah, but do you know what really annoys got... me is when you go in and it's quite busy and there's, like, you know, all those nice comfy seats, comfy seats, nice table and everything, and there's you and there's a few of you, and there's one person spread out like this. Oh, like Completely the don't, don't care. Yeah. Don't care and that you're cables. actually cables hogging. are dangerous for children. I think you'll the... find the majority of people have a bit of common sense, and a lot of... The good coffee shops you'll go in and there's mm. clearly a designated space for the people working and then you've got the sofas and so on for the so mums and the work and everybody can it win can work and it work i live in home yes. in east sussex and it works you do you know what must be a terrible culture shock to you do you ever go to a hotel and you suddenly think right now just get to sign up to the wi-fi and you realize it costs you 72 pounds 50 <laughs> a minute or something <laughs> do you ever realize that yeah it's incredible so, so i mean that puts it all into perspective there must be some business value for cafes or else they wouldn't be doing it. Of this. course there is. I think it's turned from use into abuse though because the people are there too long. Right. You book a table at the Ivy, they'll tell you you've got a two-hour a, a two turnaround time and you're going to be to spending... To eat. Uh, yeah. Never mind. Your to table, for your shelves. table. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you'll be spending up to, to £200. Do that. Then they can do that. They can put a sign on the door they saying can. you're very welcome to come and work they can. for two hours. You but know, they've been and colonised, that's my point. You go in now, there's always someone with a yeah. Yeah, someone with a headset. Da, 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 da. It's mm -hmm. not conducive to chatting, it's not conducive to meeting people to and, and relaxing. You can't relax. I think we should be embracing this kind of this kind of culture. You know, the nine to five is going out the window. You've got flexible working, people mm. working from home. You've got the mother in law back in the house, you've got <laughs> the kids, you've got I mean I totally get that. Well yes. then get a cooperative working space, they're cheap too, and then you can have the banter with your shop, colleagues. Isn't it? That's no, what it's not a coffee shop is a private business. It's not it's not a public and space. And if they don't want to attract that kind of customer, it's quite easy to deter well, have people. have you ever asked when you go in, is it okay if no, I do this? No, I've always <laughs> been no, welcome. People you, assume. I know, they're the, talking the, behind the you when you go out. And behind your you back you, you end go. up knowing people personally. So uh, uh, you haven't been aware that there's people like Anna Mae tutting. around who, yeah, who are mean. tutting behind you? I don't care. <laughs> you can go, you can go oh. to another coffee shop. Mm. Well, we've been... Um, we're doing a vote in our Twitter poll on this. 42 of you say Cafe Campers. Uh, like you over there, should uh, have time limits imposed on them, but 58% say they should be allowed to stay as long as they like. Almost split down the middle, really. Well, that's because they're voting online. They're all sitting in cafes. They're all watching on their iPads in the there. local cafe, not at home. <laughs> Guys, thank, thank you, both you. of you. Thank you very much indeed. Do, do share the green room happily, though, won't you? you won't, yeah. <laughs> You're allowed to stay there for as long as you like. <laughs>